<laughs> what is that? Okay. I, you know, somebody said, why don't you try it with string? I had string, but it was coming out. So I'm going to try a wrecker ring with some chain pulls. So I have my layered Funkadelic cup here and I don't know if it's going to work. I'll still have my stick handy just in case, but let me go ahead and get started. Okay, I have no idea what design this is going to create. You guys should have seen me actually putting these on because they do not, like, they don't make a perfect shape, you know? And then they were all falling off. I, di I ended up dipping them all in paint before I start, like, this is a mess. This is a total Molly mess right here. That is what I call that. So I don't want that to impede what I'm doing here. I'm just going to pour a ring pour and then pull these things out. I don't know. You know, whatever. <laughs> oh boy. You know, the things that you guys come up with, they make me giggle and then I'm like, eh, maybe I'll try it. There's those fun, bright colors. Big circles, because I want big rings. I don't know, I guess I'll try to stretch the paint out a little bit. With these, uh, I don't know. I, I didn't think this one through very well. <laughs> tickles me so much but it definitely does okay getting the last little bit of paint out of here I have so much fun with these though guys you know I make a lot of artwork to sell and a lot of artwork for people and sometimes you just gotta have fun if you find yourself not having fun I would recommend you take a break because this is all, oh my God, okay, okay, all right. So, oh boy, so I'm gonna keep them up here because they were all like <laughs> flying around earlier. <laughs> Let me torch first. I don't know why this makes me giggle, y'all. Like Wiggles Art, when he does his pores, he does, well, maybe he does giggle. He has his to music, huh? But I've seen him do a lot of uh, string pulls that are really cool, so. But this was a viewer recommended. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is not going to work to stretch this out, I don't think. I should have thought about that. I should have put them all closer to the center first or something. Right? Oh, boy. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull. I have a little cup of water here. Look. I'm telling you, y'all, this, this pour has been, oh, let me show you. The inside of that cup is amazing. All right. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. Okay, well, that one basically did nothing. <laughs> I think that this is going to end up being a stick ring pour because I don't want, I feel like the colors are getting a little bit muddy as I drag. Maybe I should have drug it a different way. I don't know. Okay. All right. I mean, you got to try, right? I feel like I've lost some of them under there. I should have counted them as well. So let me see, where are you at? Oh no, you're dripping, you're dripping. I have to pull outward. Okay. Guys, I don't think I like this. I think it makes the colors too muddy. I think I'm probably, once I pull these, I think I'm going to go at it with a stick. Because it didn't really, it's 
not really changing any of the design. If you guys have any ideas on this one, let me know. I'm definitely going back around it with a stick. And Wiggles, if you're watching this, I'd like to see you do a wreck ring with uh, your strings. You're way better at this than I am. Oh gosh, that looks so weird coming out of the paint like that. Okay guys, this one is, this one's not for me. I told you guys I would try it. It was a viewer recommendation. I tried it and I'm done. Okay, the question is, did I get all of them out? It looks like I did, okay. Now I come in with the stick because I loved this color combination. This is my curly Q technique, the swirly Q. I think maybe if I hadn't used colors that would go to brown, maybe that would have been a little bit different. I mean, it gave it a little bit of a cool design, but when I pulled, what's on the outside is gonna go away anyway. So I gotta figure out a better way. If you guys know a better way to do that, let me know. I wanted to curly Q some in the middle. Get some design there. All right, I've still got my actual center right there. Okay, I'll stretch this out. Didn't work, but I tried. But I am still gonna get a good painting out of this. I feel like, is there one right there? No, there's not one. <laughs> Felt like getting silly with you. Getting maybe that should be the name of my art painting TV show. Getting silly with Molly in the garage. Do you guys watch that? Oh wait, you guys do watch that. <laughs> I'm literally just babbling to myself at this point. I really love the colors though. I'm actually kind of sad that it didn't work. I don't want to lose all that right there. Dang. That was like my favorite part. With that lime green and the phthalo blue and that um, magenta. All right, this side's muddy. I want to, I'm glad I stretched to that edge first because now I can stretch that part out and have that be the predominant part of the painting. Because this just kind of went to this green muddy color that I don't like on that side. Okay. Hope you guys can still see it. This was like the perfect amount of paint, actually. Get on down to that corner. Okay be as good as that corner is going to get. Now I'll stretch this, gosh, that, that aqua and that yellow together. Ooh, that is pretty. Yeah, uh, this, the chain pull didn't work, but that's okay. You can see my paint moving. It's moving really slow. So if you guys have any other ideas for ways to wreck a ring, put them in the comments and I'll try them. They may, I can't promise you that they'll work. I mean, look at what happened here, but I think that the technique is really cool. And so I am willing to, willing to try anything once basically for you guys. I'll waste my paints, you know, so you don't have to. Okay, I got one little thing right here that out of there. I really love the colors though. But especially this corner up here. This corner down here is not my favorite. 
really wish some more of that yellow and aqua had been there. So what I think I'm gonna do, because that's my original set, you can't even tell where my original center is. I'm gonna tilt down this way just a little bit more and see if I can stretch out some of that, get some of that off. The issue is that I used almost the perfect amount of paint. And so I'm not even stretching that much anymore. Come on. All right, I'll stretch the rest of it off camera. I'll take you in for a close up and then I will show you the dried result. Okay, here it is. My favorite corner. The rest of it, these colors got a little muddy. That was from the chain pull. This side over here was the chain pull culprit. There you go. That was the center, I believe. That corner, this side is gorgeous. That looks like some kind of like bottle bottom pour or flower. But super interesting design. So you guys let me know if you have any other ways to wreck it besides the stick. I always go back to the stick, man. But this is really cool. The colors are super funky and interesting. I like it. All right, you guys, I'll show you what it's try. <laughs> All right, here it is. I love the details in it. So pretty. That's my favorite corner where that um, aqua and that lime green came together. The top got a little greenish color that I didn't super care for, but I feel like this has so much depth. I don't know what I was thinking with the chain pulls. I'm gonna leave that to designer Gemma 77 and Wiggles art for sure. But man, that stick, that was the savior. Look at all those little tiny green lines up there. I'm just really loving this technique, you guys. Let me know what you think. It looks almost like three-dimensional, doesn't it? Nope, that's a flat canvas. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Yep painting. Bye.